Inflation has today hit its highest level since 1990, jumping to 7.8%. The pressures coming at us from around the world will continue to be felt around the kitchen tables of our country. We've got house prices now well into a downturn. They're about 11% below the March 22 price peaks. But it is also important to remember that house prices remain substantially higher than what they were before the pandemic upswing. SBS 뉴스에 따르면 호주 물가 상승률이 7.8%까지 치솟으며 33년 만에 최고치를 기록했다고 합니다. 영상을 제작하고 있는 2월 7일 오전 기준 호주 언론과 전문가들의 의견에 따르면 또한 번의 금리 인상이 확실시 되고 있는 가운데 이에 따른 호주 부동산 시장의 변동에도 촉각이 곤두세워지고 있습니다. Good evening. It's a record we didn't want. Inflation has today hit its highest level since 1990, jumping to 7.8%. And that means more cost of living pain for households and at least one more interest rate rise from the Reserve Bank as early as next month. It's a number that points to how expensive our lives are. And with inflation hitting 7.8% for the year, it's now more expensive than it's been in almost three and a half decades. I was a little bit surprised. These numbers were a bit older than we expected. We were looking for headline inflation coming in around 7.5%. 그렇다면... 이토록 높은 물가 상승률의 원인은 무엇일까? 전문가들은 여행, 숙박 관련 소비 증가와 높아진 인건비, 원자재 비용을 꼽고 있습니다. So what drove inflation up? Our desire to break the lockdown blues and get away. Domestic holiday travel and accommodation jumped a significant 13.3%. International travel and accommodation was up 7.6%. Electricity prices didn't help, 8.6% higher, along with new dwelling purchases by owner-occupiers up 1.7%, driven up by higher labour and material costs. And family budgets are also being squeezed by soaring grocery bills and the price of fuel. But the full effects of recent interest rate rises are still to flow through, so economists believe that consumers will tighten their belts and the economy will almost certainly slow down. 물론. 올해를 넘기면 물가 상승이 수그러들 것이라는 전문가의 예측 또한 존재하지만 당장 2023년 올해에도 힘겨운 한 해가 될 것이라는 데에는 변함이 없습니다. Right now we are at the peak, and as we go through this year in Australia, we will see that inflation rate step back down, probably down to around 4%, maybe even a little bit lower by the end of the year. Still, it points to another tough year ahead. Even as inflation moderates. The pressures coming at us from around the world will continue to be felt around the kitchen tables of our country. 치솟은 물가로 금리 인상이 거의 확실시 되어가는 가운데 또한 번의 금리 인상이 호주 부동산 시장에 미칠 영향도 무시할 수는 없습니다. As high as today's inflation number was, it was still slightly lower than the Reserve Bank was expecting. Even so, it points to at least one more interest rate rise, the first of the year, almost certainly when the bank's board meets in two weeks' time. And that will no doubt have an impact on Sydney's housing market, which just had its steepest fall on record, with the median price down $170,000 last year to just over $1.4 million. House prices in Sydney are still falling, but they're not falling as fast as what they were. We've got house prices now well into a downturn. They're about 11% below the March 22 price peaks. But it is also important to remember that house prices remain substantially higher than what they were before the pandemic. Upswing. And helping to slow that slowdown, a drop in listings as sellers sit on the sidelines. Mm -hmm.